Reverend Insanity. Chapter 326. Nine Eyes Liquor Worm. Days went by, and with the news of the three kings' inheritance, a time of unrest began at Sancha Mountain. Many formidable demonic goo masters, righteous goo masters, and people of all occupations and goals rushed towards Sancha Mountain. At first, Shang clan controlled the situation, continually sending reinforcements and tyrannically occupying the inheritance entrances, displaying their determination towards obtaining this inheritance. However, Wu clan moved and broke the blockade of Shang clan. After that, news continued to spread. The fact that the site of Three Kings' inheritance had been rank 6 Gu Immortal Blessed Land caused a huge uproar and countless people flocked towards Sancha Mountain. Several other top-ranked clans were also alarmed by the news and dispatched groups of formidable Gu masters one after another. With this, even Shang clan and Wu clan could not block the huge wave of people. Sancha Mountain fell into chaos. There were casualties every day. To seize the chance to enter the inheritance, there were intense battles between righteous and demonic, demonic and demonic, righteous and righteous. Every change in the situation in San Cha Mountain affected the hearts of many people. Fang Yuan was also paying close attention to this. After the inheritance opened, close to a month had passed. Some people already gained some benefits in the inheritance, stimulating the passion of many others to explore the inheritance. However, Fang Yuan did not care about these benefits. With the memories of his previous life, he knew that the true essence of Three Kings' inheritance lied in the depths of the inheritance ground. There were at least a hundred barriers before one could reach there, and it was a time and energy consuming process. Sometimes, people would be lost and trapped in fog and not be able to find the exit. Sometimes, there would be attacks from dogs and many goo masters would die under these dogs' sharp canine teeth. The three kings were demonic goo masters. This was a demonic inheritance. There were dangers lurking all over in demonic inheritances. In many cases, one needed to risk their lives to explore them. It is still too early to go to Sancha Mountain. The time is not ripe yet. It is better to benefit from others' efforts and preserve my strength. When they remove the barriers and clear the obstacles, that will be the time I seize the rewards. For now, I should refine goo. Fang Yuan had already made a plan. The goo he was going to refine this time was none other than Liquor Worm. Rank 1 Liquor Worm could purify green copper primeval essence by a small realm. Rank 2 Four Flavors Liquor Worm could purify red steel primeval essence by a small realm. Rank 3 Seven Fragrances Liquor Worm could purify white silver primeval essence by a small realm. Rank 4 Nine Eyes Liquor Worm could purify yellow gold primeval essence by a small realm. Rank 5 Liquor Worm, however, did not exist. The recipe grandmaster who researched Liquor Worm's recipe had an outstanding talent, but he was killed by enemies when he was young and died prematurely. Geniuses only represented a possibility. There were many cases of geniuses who were killed before they matured. However, the current Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing could already be said to have matured. Killing them would not be easy. After Fang Yuan fused Liquor Worm into Four Flavors Liquor Worm, he had not used it and had only been raising it. It was because he had Bone Flesh Unity Goo and Bai Ning Bing's help that the Four Flavors Liquor Worm lost its worth. However, it was different now. Bai Ning Bing was now rank 4 while Fang Yuan was rank 3 peak stage, he would also advance to rank 4 initial stage not long later. At that time, their cultivation would be the same. The help that Bone Flesh Unity Gu could offer to Fang Yuan would decrease by a lot. At that time, a rank 4 Nine Eyes Liquor Worm would make his cultivation speed faster. Refine the Nine Eyes Liquor Worm while Shang Xin Sai was starting to recruit Zhu Quan, Fang Yuan chose to go into closed-door cultivation to refine Gu. Bai Ning Bing also chose to go into closed-door cultivation, refining Gu secretly. To refine four flavors liquor worm, two rank one liquor worms and wine of sour, sweet, bitter and spicy flavors were required. To refine seven fragrances liquor worm, two four flavors liquor worm and seven types of spices were required. 
To refine Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, one needed two seven fragrances liquor worm and eyeballs of nine different hundred beast kings. Right now, Fang Yuan was at Shang Clan City and had a huge advantage. If it was at other places, he would have to spend large amounts of energy to search for materials to refine liquor worm. However, at Shang Clan City, he could easily buy them as long as he had money. Fang Yuan already possessed a four flavors liquor worm. He bought two liquor worms and fused them into the second four flavors liquor worm. He then fused these two four flavors liquor worm into seven fragrances liquor worm. The process till this stage was smoothly finished by him. However, he ran into difficulty while refining the second seven fragrances liquor worm. While he was fusing the third four flavors liquor worm and the second seven fragrances liquor worm, the fusion failed. The primeval stones spent on it were all wasted. He had to buy the supplementary materials and restart it again. Fortunately, fusing the two seven fragrances liquor worm was completely smoothly. Three days later, Fang Yuan obtained a Nine Eyes Liquor Worm. Nine Eyes Liquor Worm was like a silkworm and was pure white like a pearl. There were no eyes on its head, but rather it had nine colors that resembled eyes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and so on as if they were precious gems embedded on its body. Nine Eyes Liquor Worm could purify yellow gold primeval essence by a small realm. Fang Yuan had spent a lot to refine it, his expenses almost reaching 200,000 primeval stones. No Gu masters could avoid failures in refining Gu. Fang Yuan might have failed many times, but his luck was pretty good. His failures was all concentrated in the early stage of refining Four Flavors Liquor Worm and Seven Fragrances Liquor Worm. At the final juncture, he had succeeded in one try. What Gu Master feared the most in refining Gu was failing at the latter stage. That kind of loss was disastrous. I have nine eyes liquor worm now. Fang Yuan observed the Gu for a while before satisfiedly putting it into his aperture. He was still only at rank three peak stage now and could not use the nine eyes liquor worm. He could only wait till he reached rank four before he used it. Bai Ning Bing could use it. However, Yellow Gold Middle Stage Primeval Essence had a strong cleansing effect towards the aperture walls. Bai Ning Bing possessed Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, and from what she said, her aptitude had already increased to 96% now. Nine Eyes Liquor Worm would do more harm than good to her. When I reach Rank 4 Initial Stage and use this Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, I will have Yellow Gold Middle Stage Primeval Essence. At that time, the quality of my primeval essence will, for the first time, surpass Bai Ning Bing. Fang Yuan could sense he was not far from reaching rank 4 realm. Although they had undergone a vow, he had never forgotten the danger called Bai Ning Bing. Time passed day by day. A great demonic path figure appeared at San Cha Mountain Inheritance Grounds after Kong Rai Tian. He was Long King Tian, one who had dyed the sky blue before a famous poison path Gu Master. When he appeared in the inheritance grounds, he killed three Shang clan elders with poison and gave a huge boost to the demonic path's morale. Fortunately, two days later, Wu clan sent the rank four elder Wu Tong Shen to hold back Long King Tian. This brought back the situation in San Cha Mountain to an equilibrium. On Shang Xin-Sai's side, she, as expected, met setbacks when recruiting Zhu Quan and her progress was slow. Zhu Quan was proud and arrogant, his attitude did not ease even a little and his tone also seemed like he had no intentions to discuss. After Fang Yuan succeeded in refining Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, he was putting all his energy in cultivating. Because Bai Ning Bing was continuously supplying him with yellow gold primeval essence, his cultivation speed accelerated and was quickly approaching rank 4 realm. However, these days, spring autumn cicada's recovery speed was also becoming faster, and its pressure on Fang Yuan's rank 3 aperture had become more obvious. On this day, Shang Clan City welcomed the auspicious festival. This was Shang Clan's traditional festival, it was an important celebration that commemorated the ancestor who founded Shang clan thousands of years ago, setting up a stall for the first time. 
Shang Clan's first ancestor was a legendary figure. He was originally a mortal who lived in poverty and made a livelihood by trading. On one certain transaction, he unexpectedly obtained a Gu Master's inheritance token. He relied on this token to inherit the legacy of the Gu Master and stepped into a whole new world. He moved forward steadily and step by step, his wealth and power expanded continuously until he finally founded Shang Clan City. Thus, on the day of the festival, Shang Clan Inner City was decorated with lanterns and colored banners. All large stores, brothels, restaurants and so on closed their business for the day. People were in a joyous mood and excitedly walked on the streets, setting up stalls. Men, women, old and young, all immersed in this lively atmosphere of the festival. On this day, buying and selling were treated as an interesting game. However, the joyous atmosphere of the festival seemed to have no effect on Shang Xinsai. The young girl sat in front of a table with her beautiful brows in a slight frown as she looked at the several invitation cards on the table with melancholy. These invitation cards all came from the nine young masters. During auspicious festival, the young masters would hold grand banquets, inviting people of all sides and reward them. Big Brother Hai too, what should I do? Shang Xinsai was in a dilemma and subconsciously looked at Fang Yuan for guidance. Xin Sai, our sales have tripled your hundred thousand capital, and you are now one of the most popular candidate to win the Young Master competition. They will naturally invite you to participate. Fang Yuan smiled and continued. However, we can only choose one of these nine invitations. On the surface, this looks like a joyous and harmonious banquet, but it is actually a political move to determine where you stand. Fang Yuan explained the deep political meaning behind these invitations. Shang clan only had ten young masters, there were alliance between these ten young masters and also internal conflicts. Shang Xin Sai was competing for the young master position and was also one of the most popular candidates. Naturally, the nine young masters paid close attention to her. Shang Xin Sai had yet to become a young master, but they were already trying to rope her in. One had to make compromises in this world. To be part of Shang clan's higher up, one could not avoid being engulfed by the political whirlpool. Should I choose Shang Kai Wen's invitation? After all, she is in charge of battle stage and will be a great help to our later plans. Shang Xin Sai voiced out. Fang Yuan shook his head. It looks like there are nine invitations, but actually that is not the case. The biggest power among Shang clan young masters is Shang Qiu Niu, who is the eldest son of the first wife, and thus has the greatest advantage. Second faction is the alliance of Shang Pu Lao, Shang Suan Nai and Shang Bai Roman XI. This faction is currently in the limelight. Third faction is the alliance of Shang Kao Feng and Shang Fu Roman XI who are currently biding their time. Among the rest, Shang Kai Wen does not have any ambitions while Shang Pai Zhu is too playful. Xin Sai, your foundation in Shang Clan City is too weak. If you are going to choose, you need to choose between these three factions to make up for your weakness. As for Shang Kai Wen, there won't be much of a difference whether you choose her or not. So it was like this. Shang Xin Sai's eyes brightened as she listened. Hearing Fang Yuan's words, she felt like she had dispelled the fog around her and was looking at the clear sky. The bewilderment she was feeling earlier was swept away. She thought a little and made her choice. She chose the third faction, Shang Kao Feng's invitation. Among the three factions, the first and second faction are competing against each other. I will definitely be offending the other if I choose one of them. It is better to choose the third faction and enter this political whirlpool, but still stay out of it for the time being. Shang Xin Sai explained to Fang Yuan. Shang Xin Sai immediately understood with her high intelligence. Fang Yuan was happy at this, but also felt a little irony. In his previous life, Shang Kao Feng and Shang Xin Sai fought and contended for Shang clan leader's position. To think that in this life, these two arch enemies would instead choose to walk together. Chapter 327 Beautiful and Talented, Xin Sai's Brilliance Little Brother Here Toasts to Big Brother
Shang Yifan stood up and bent his back while raising a cup of wine with a smile. There were splendid lights all over the hall, singing and dancing were being performed, and traditional music flowed to everyone's ears. Everyone was enjoying the feast and the atmosphere was intense. Good. Shang Qiu Niu was standing on the main seat. He raised a cup of wine towards Shang Yifan and downed the wine in one gulp. Shang Qiu Niu's advisor spoke. Master Yifan, choosing to participate in young Master Qiu Niu's banquet, is no doubt a sensible decision. Do not worry, my young master will not treat you unfairly. Eldest brother Qiu Niu has always been my role model. In truth, I have always been wanting to get closer to eldest brother and learn many things under you. Shang Yifan smiled. Shang Qiu Niu was head of the first major faction among the current young masters and he happened to have deep relation with Shang Yifan's mother's side. If Shang Xin Sai chose Shang Qiu Niu's side, she was certain to be pushed aside by Shang Yifan. However, Shang Qiu Niu had already taken the initiative to send an invitation to Shang Xin Sai. He would definitely be happy if Shang Xin Sai came. Why? Because on Shang Xin Sai's side were Fang and Bai, two great rank four experts. This was something no other young master had, and many were envious of this. The young master, subordinate has inquired, that Shang Xin Sai went to. At this moment, a Gu master entered the hall and whispered to Shang Qiu Niu's ear with his waist bent. Shang Qiu Niu's gaze turned slightly gloomy when he got the information. Shang Yifan cautiously observed Shang Qiu Niu's expression and pondered, Looks like Shang Xin Sai didn't choose eldest brother's faction. Did she go to Shang Pu Lao's faction? Shang Qiu Niu had already experienced a lot of things, thus his feelings did not show clearly on his face. His expression also had no change, so Shang Yifan could only guess without any clues. However, a short while later, Shang Yifan also received the news. Shang Xin Sai had accepted the invitation to participate in Shang Kao Feng's festival banquet. This signified she chose Shang Kao Feng's faction. Shang Yifan could not help but be secretly delighted immediately upon receiving the news. Shang Kao Feng and Shang Fu Roman Eleven might be the third faction, but they have been pressured from the start. How could they be eldest brother Kiyu Niu's match? I have now even more chance to take the young master position. However, the old steward Zhang shook his head, his expression heavy. Master, young master Kiyu Niu's faction and young master Pu Lao's faction are locked in a fight. I am afraid the possibility of master borrowing the help of young master Kiyu Niu to deal with Shang Xin Sai is not very big. This... At this critical moment, young master Qiu Niu cannot afford to make another enemy. Shang Xin Sai's choice is clever. She has avoided the political whirlpool and managed to watch from the sidelines for the moment. By the time the two factions resolve their issues, the competition for the young master position will already be over. Shang Xin Sai has two great rank four experts, any faction she chooses will readily accept her and make an alliance. Young master Shang Kao Feng will definitely help her. Old steward Zhang gave an incisive analysis of the situation. That is to say, even though I joined Shang Qiu Niu's faction, I still can't deal with Shang Xin Sai. Shang Yifan's expression became unsightly. I can only say that we cannot borrow Shang Qiu Niu's strength. Old steward Zhang stroked his grizzled beard. However, Shang Xin Sai's problem is also not small. The most important thing is that she still lacks capable manpower. I heard that she has been trying to recruit Zhu Quan. HMPH, how can that even be possible? Old steward sneered and continued, Zhu Quan was once a clan leader. He is proud and arrogant, and his ability is ten times of mine. How would it be possible for such a man to attach himself to this inexperienced little girl? I have already secretly mobilized people to create all kinds of rumors and slanders. Zhu Quan cares for his reputation very much, and the rumors have already prevented him from joining Shang Xin Sai. Shang Xin Sai is trying to recruit Zhu Quan secretly, but by failing to do so, she will lose a lot of her prestige and will have a disadvantageous beginning. 
she might even become a laughing stock. Hehe. <laughs> when he reached the end of his words, Steward Zhu started laughing evilly. Shang Kao Feng's study was arranged in a simple fashion. There was a wide stone table and wide-backed stone chairs which gave a boorish and strong aura. Just as Shang Yi Fan and old Steward Zhang were talking, Shang Kao Feng, Shang Xin Sai along with Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing were also discussing something. This discussion had already continued on for a while. In truth, Shang Kao Feng was somewhat surprised at Shang Xin Sai joining his side. He had thought Shang Xin Sai would join Shang Qiu Niu or Shang Pu Lao. His own faction was only ranked third, and they were currently just watching from the sidelines while accumulating their strength. In normal times, they were very low key and would choose to retreat when there were problems or contradictions. They had never thought they could obtain Shang Xin Sai's interest. Shang Xin Sai's cultivation was only at rank 1, while her aptitude was worse and she had almost no foundation in Shang Clan City. However, she had Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing. These were two great rank 4 powers, even Shang Yan Fei when he was a young master did not have such experts with him. To be able to have two such experts under her, there were no young masters who did not feel envious. Shang Kao Feng had also naturally sighed inwardly at Shang Xin Sai's luck. Now, if he accepted Shang Xin Sai, he could indirectly obtain Fang and Bai's help. This was a temptation Shang Kao Feng could not refuse. The atmosphere in the study was harmonious. In the talk just earlier, Shang Kao Feng already sincerely expressed his intention to wholeheartedly support Shang Xin Sai in the Young Master competition. Sister Xin Sai, you have already earned 300,000 primeval stones from selling goo worms. We can say that you are at the top currently, but just 300,000 is far from enough. What do you plan on doing next? Shang Kao Feng then added, Just say it, and I will help you to the best of my abilities. Shang Xin Sai glanced at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan faintly nodded his head. She then said honestly, I won't hide it from Big Brother Kao Feng, I am thinking of doing information gathering business. Information gathering business? Shang Kao Feng could not help but raise his brows. Yes. Shang Xin Sai started to explain her plan in detail. Who knew Shang Kao Feng's expression would change and shake his head after hearing it? You want to do information gathering business regarding the battle stage? It is not suitable, not suitable. He said, not suitable twice, expressing his clear disagreement with Shang Xin Sai's plan. Ah, what could be wrong about it? Please teach me big brother Kao Feng, Shang Xin Sai said in a sincere voice. Xin Sai, I urge you to change this plan. You are a newcomer, and so you aren't clear about it, it is understandable. You should not bump about with the battle stage randomly. Shang Kao Feng heaved a sigh and continued, Shang Clan City's battle stage is different from other clans' battle stage. Here, demonic goo masters can become our Shang Clan's external elders. This is a policy exclusive to our Shang Clan, and we have been able to obtain many talents from this. At present, there are five great elders in Shang Clan, among which three are external elders. However, this policy has both advantage and disadvantage. The greater the benefits, the higher the chance of malpractice. External elders are the higher-ups of our Shang clan, and if some trouble enters through it, it will be a great disaster to our Shang clan. Demonic goo masters are after all demonic goo masters, and even if they change and become righteous, their loyalty can still be questioned. At the same time, besides the demonic goo masters, there are also those righteous path clans with unfathomable motives. Thus, Shang Clan's battle stage is the place which has always been attached with the most importance by Shang Clan higher-ups. There was once a young master who suddenly got an inspiration to start a betting house for the battle stage's matches. The result was that he earned 500,000 primeval stones after just two days of opening the betting house. However, on the third day, the betting house was closed down and the young master was demoted and exiled. This is the best warning that shows that the battle stage cannot be touched randomly. 
Shang Kao Fong spoke of a story only known to insiders. This information was something Fang Yuan, Bai Ningbing, and Shang Xin Sai did not know. Fang Yuan might have the memories of his previous life, but it was normal to not know of this small secret historical incident about the Shang clan's internal affairs, even more so when it was closed down so fast. The battle stage was a forbidden zone. That young master touched this place and lost his young master position and was even exiled from the clan. At present, Shang Xin Sai was still not a young master, but had a plan towards the battle stage. This made Shang Kao Feng realize that ignorance was truly blissful. Xin Sai, your plan is a new approach and you have thought of it properly. If it is done, you will definitely make large amount of profits every day. However, the possibility is too low, don't take your own future prospects as a joke. I am in charge of the Gu Battle Zone and your 13th brother is in charge of the auction sites. You can lend us a hand in this field and we'll be able to go head to head against Shang Yi Fan. Shang Kao Feng gently persuaded. Shang Xin Sai was silent. Bai Ning Bing furrowed her brows. The corner of Fang Yuan's lips curled up into a smile and he was about to speak, but after taking a glance at Shang Xin Sai, he changed his decision and swallowed up the words that were just about to come out of his throat. For a moment, the atmosphere in the study room had become heavy. After quite a while of intense pondering, Shang Xin Sai suddenly smiled. Big Brother Kao Feng, I have a different viewpoint regarding the battle stage. This is well worth doing. Huh? Shang Kao Feng frowned and fixed his gaze at Shang Xin Sai. Under the pressure from Shang Kao Feng's gaze, Shang Xin Sai instead smiled and showed her confident look. She continued, The young master before failed after opening the betting house, he was like a moth attracted to fire and was looking for his own doom. His punishment was only by being expelled from the clan, this can be considered merciful from our Shang clan. Why? In the study, only Shang Xin Sai's gentle voice continued to sound out. Like Big Brother Kao Feng said, our Shang clan's battle stage is of the highest importance and has been extremely guarded by the higher-ups. Opening a betting house for battle stage to earn huge money will likely give rise to people who will manipulate the battle stage's result from behind the scenes. This will greatly wreck the Shang clan's external elder policy. It looks like one can make enormous profits from the betting house, but to the Shang clan's battle stage, it is a very large vermin. Sacrificing Shang clan's benefits to fill oneself, such actions definitely need to be eliminated, and only then can it let the battle stage continue to mature. Shang Kao Feng continuously nodded his head. Shang Xin Sai's words were incisive and had a type of aura that made people want to have faith in it. But the information business I want to do has a completely different nature from the betting house. I know Shang Clan's biggest information organization Feng Yu Manor has always been investigating into the demonic Gu masters at the battle stage. They must investigate properly to know whether these demonic Gu masters harbor evil intentions. However, these investigations are done in secret and never openly. Why? He <laughs> he. This is because most of the demonic goo masters are filled with distrust, doubts, and even are overly suspicious. They live in danger all year round in a situation where their life hangs on a thread, so the mental pressure on them is so great that they cannot even relax a bit. And if they were investigated after coming to Shang Clan City, they would definitely react badly and be filled with hatred. If Shang Clan wants to absorb even more and even better talents, they naturally can't investigate openly. However, not investigating is even more impossible and the clan cannot be at ease. In this situation, I am going to do information gathering business. I am going to investigate every Gu Master's general strength, Gu Worms and battle achievements and sell this information. At the same time, I will be requesting experts and authority to forecast the results of important matches and make a ranking. This will be very important information to the Gu Masters participating in the battle stage. Many Gu Masters wish to obtain an external elder's position, and they hope for more fame, and also wish to see their names on the rankings. 
these information will naturally not touch upon secret matters and will only be a summary and comparison of the strength showed by the Goo Masters. To demonic Goo Masters on the battle stage, this will be a great help. At the same time, this will allow the Shang clan to strengthen their grasp more on the battle stage. I think my Lord Father will definitely be happy about this, why would he suppress such a thing? Shang Xin Sai finished explaining her reason and looked at Shang Kao Feng with a smile. At this moment, her eyes were burning bright with wisdom and confidence, displaying unlimited elegance. Bai Ning Bing's brows had also smoothed out. This is it. Fang Yuan inwardly smiled. Shang Kao Feng slightly opened his mouth, looking at Shang Xin Sai with a stupefied expression. After several seconds, he came back to his senses and could not help applauding and praising her. Good point, your analysis is brilliant. Sister Xin Sai, you have a truly unique vision, a pure heart and spirit, I can't help but admire you. I will definitely help you with all my strength for this business. You lack manpower now, I can give you people from my side. You can have as many as you want. Shang Xin Sai shook her head. Thank you, big brother Kao Feng, but I have already made my choice regarding the manpower. Shang Kao Feng looked like he wanted to help Shang Xin Sai on the surface by sending people, but actually he wanted to place his own people to control this information gathering business and also strengthen his control over Shang Xin Sai. However, Shang Xin Sai immediately saw through it and tactfully refused. Not all help comes with good intentions. However, Shang Kao Feng was not willing to let it go. The information gathering business he was avoiding so much earlier had become a rich treasure right now. He continued to persuade, Sister Xin Sai, I know you have been trying to recruit Zhu Quan recently, but this person is very proud and contemptuous. Shang Qiu Niu had personally tried to recruit him before, but was refused and was even reprimanded with the words, an inexperienced junior dares to recruit me, a hundred-year-old man. Zhu Quan was now already over a hundred years old and would not willingly submit to someone, especially a junior. Shang Kao Feng was not optimistic about Shang Xin Sai recruiting Zhu Quan. Zhu Quan had the ability and was also recognized for it, but he was too arrogant. Let's take a step back and say that you managed to recruit Zhu Quan. What can one man do? you still don't have middle and lower level subordinates. These people also must have some ability, most importantly they should be loyal to you. Establishing such force requires time a long time. With subordinates that you don't feel at ease, even if you do this information gathering business, it might very well be destroyed by Shang Yifan and he can even steal your gains. Shang Kao Feng might have his own intentions, but his words were very reasonable. Shang Xin Sai's beautiful brows could not help but furrow when she heard it. Regarding this, young master Kao Feng does not need to worry. I already have a plan. At this time, Fang Yuan suddenly spoke. Chapter 328, Eating Will Be Eating. Is that so? Shang Kao Feng replied curtly. Fang Yuan had personally rejected his proposal for Shang Xin Sai, he could not force them. Fang Yuan had defeated Zhu Kaibei, had rank 3 peak stage cultivation, but his actual fighting strength was rank 4. At the same time he had the purple thorn token, and was an esteemed guest in Shang clan. Because of all these, Shang Kao Feng had already been showing goodwill towards Fang and Bai. But he was scoffing in his heart. HMPH, trying to establish a force, it needs time, how can they succeed instantly? Never mind, I'll let you guys learn from mistakes. When you fail, I will come out and help you, I would be able to earn more then. Shang Kao Feng contemplated, but he still smiled warmly. The two discussed for a while more, before Shang Kao Feng sent Shang Xin Sai and the others personally to the exit. To outsiders, this was an obvious political signal. After saying bye to Shang Kao Feng, Shang Fang and Bai walked onto the streets. Today was the auspicious festival, most of the shops were closed, and two rows small temporary stalls were on the two sides of the road. Come, 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 sour and sweet candied fruits. 
let me tell you, this old jade was passed down by my ancestors. Selling rice, selling rice, a bag of five fragrance oil rice for half a primeval stone. The small stalls were situated one after another, selling all sorts of things. The two rows spread out as far as the eye could see as people squeezed about as they tried to buy things, while others watched in a circle, some were bargaining and some were looking around. The auspicious festival was held once a year, be it Fang Yuan, Bai Ning Bing or Shang Xin Sai, they were not foreign to it. Counting the days, we have already been in Shang Clan City for nearly three years. Shang Xin Sai suddenly said in an emotional tone. Too many things had happened in the last few years. She sighed, continuing, If it was before, I would never have guessed I would be Shang clan leader's daughter. Next, Shang Xin Sai looked at Fang Yuan, smiling slightly, showing her pure white teeth. If it was not for Brother Hai Tu, I would not have made it this far. Towards Fang and Bai, Shang Xin Sai always felt extremely grateful to them. Bai Ning Bing looked speechlessly, the corner of her eyes twitching. Indeed, I did not think your father would be the famous Shang Yan Fei. But it was fate that I saved you. People come and go, that is natural in this world. Fang Yuan looked ahead as he answered. Shang Xin Sai's expression changed, she understood what he meant. Brother Hai Tu, you are going to leave Shang Clan City. That's right, soon I will have to leave Shang Clan City with Bai Ning Bing, heading towards San Cha Mountain, Fang Yuan said. Shang Xin Sai gritted her teeth, she wanted to tell him to stay, but she did not say it in the end. She had spent a lot of time with Fang Yuan, although they never talked about it, she could feel the ambitions in his heart. This man's ambition was too great, a place like Shang Clan City could not hold him. But there is no need to worry. Before I leave, I will make you a young master, and make sure you sit there securely. Fang Yuan laughed. Let's go, I'll bring you to recruit some subordinates. Today, let's complete the foundation for your future force. What, Brother Hai Tu, you have ideal candidates already? Shang Xin Sai asked in surprise. Organizing a force takes a very long time. It takes years of nurturing to obtain loyal subordinates. Fang Yuan's tone made Shang Xin Sai feel that loyal and capable subordinates were like cabbage easily found in the market. On what basis was he so confident and assured? Not just Shang Xin Sai, even Bai Ning Bing was curious. Just follow me. Fang Yuan walked ahead, leading the way. After many twists and turns, they finally arrived at a small alley. In the middle of a lantern shop and silk shop, there was a small stall. Fang Yuan walked towards the front of this stall. Behind the stall, there was a young man lying down. This young man wore tattered clothes as he leaned on the wall, his eyes half-closed, and a dazed expression as his complexion was poor. He looked like he was drunk and had completely given up on life. Is this young man the person Brother Hai Tu is looking for? Shang Xin Sai analyzed. Bai Ning Bing used her sharp instincts to assess this man. Although he was a Gu master, he only had rank 1 middle stage cultivation. From his appearance, he was not young already, but only had this cultivation. It was pathetic. Hi brother, what do you want to buy? Oh Lord Fang Zheng. The young man sensed people and opened his eyes, but halfway through his words, he showed shock and fluster. Fang Yuan was now a famous person in Shang Clan City. Without concealing his appearance, many people could recognize him. Lord Bai, Bai Ning Bing. Immediately after, he recognized Bai Ning Bing, and he stammered. Although he did not know Shang Xin Sai, from her Gu Master aura and her beautiful appearance, he felt dazed. This is ten primeval stones, I am buying everything here, you can leave now. Fang Yuan tossed a bag of primeval stones. The young man's face showed joy and exhilaration. But next, he was slightly hesitant. The stuff he was selling here were the things his grandfather left behind. From his appraisal, all these were scrap and trash, there was nothing valuable. But why, why did Lord Fang Zheng want to buy them? Was there really a treasure among them? If there were treasures, would it not be a loss if he sold them? 
Just when he was still pondering, Fang Yuan already tossed the primeval stones to him. What are you thinking about? You didn't listen to what I said? HMPH, it is your honor that I wanted to buy these. You can scram now if you don't, you will not have the chance to leave this place. Fang Yuan threatened. The young man was scared until he trembled. He stammered as he shivered. Lord, Lord Fang Zheng, you cannot do this. In business, we emphasize on will, willingness. You cannot forcefully buy them like this. You are someone with great reputation. And this is Shang Clan City. Thmack. Fang Yuan gave him a tight slap and this young man fell on the ground. Scram. Fang Yuan declared, using an icy gaze to look at this young man, speaking emotionlessly. The young man held his face as he trembled under the great fear. He raised his head to look at Fang Yuan, but immediately looked away when he made contact with the abyss-like pupils. He fumbled his way out of the alley silently immediately after. Brother Hai Tu, Shang Xin Sai looked at his background, her conscience unable to stand it. Bai Ning Bing was expressionless, completely unmoved. Xin Sai, I am a demonic goo master, I have my ways of doing things, I emphasize on straightforwardness. Fang Yuan explained casually in a righteous tone. The surrounding stall owners looked towards him. He gave a sweeping glance and everyone looked away, afraid to make eye contact. If it was Fang Yuan in the past, he would have to control himself and use coaxing, lying methods to buy the item in the stall peacefully. But now, his strength had surged and his status was much higher, thus he can use the most direct method. It saves energy and time, why not do this? People from the righteous path loved their reputation and liked showing off their kindness, often doing good deeds for the weak. But Fang Yuan was not righteous, he was from the demonic path. Since ancient times, big fish eats small fish, small fish eats shrimps, this was the law of the jungle, the survival of the fittest. Demonic cultivators were used to tearing apart flesh and blood, devouring them whole. Righteous cultivators, however, will shed crocodile tears while they ate, claiming that they had no choice. Many stupid people will fall for their deception. Or maybe they were lying to themselves, unwilling to accept the cruel reality. Hehe. <laughs> the truth is, eating will be eating. Usurper eats the usurped, invader eats the invaded, the strong eats the weak, the suppressor eats the suppressed, the higher-ups eat the lower levels. All living beings eat, if not, they would not survive. It is just that they have different eating habits. Fang Yuan chased that stall owner away and lowered his body, picking a token from among the items in the stall. This token was made of black steel, ugly and dirty, with half a piece remaining. There were words carved on it, but after so long, and without the other half of its body, the words could not be discerned. But Fang Yuan knew this word was Fan. 300 years ago, a demonic goo master was heavily injured and fell into the water, eventually saved by a young lady who was at the river. The young girl was very kind. After saving the demonic goo master, she placed him in the shed and gave him food to eat daily. After the demonic goo master recovered, to thank her kindness, he made a black steel token, carving a fan word. He split the token into two, giving half to the girl while keeping the other half himself. Before the demonic goo master left, he instructed the girl, In future, if you have any difficulties, you can go the Dan Huo Mountain's Gui Ku Cave and find me for help. Even after you pass away, this promise will still be effective to the future owner of the half token. The young girl engraved his words into her heart. But after less than 50 years, there was a huge battle on Dan Huo Mountain and the volcano erupted, destroying Gui Ku Cave. That demonic goo master was captured by Tai Clan and thrown into the demon suppression tower. This half-token lost its use after that. It was passed around by the young girl's descendants. Because it involved the demonic path, when the young girl died of old age, she did not reveal the secret to her children, bringing this information to her grave. The young girl's descendants were chased away by the clan and eventually settled down in Shang Clan City as the lineage declined. Descendants were untalented and unfilial after several generations, only this young man remained. 
This young man was spoiled from young, having a young master temper and loved to gamble, drink, and visit prostitutes. After his parents died, he would rely on selling his family assets from time to time to survive. But one time, during the auspicious market festival, his life changed. Three brothers who were demonic goo masters came here to shop and accidentally found the half token displayed in the stall. Chapter 329 Three Brothers of Chun Clan The three instantly became overjoyed, taking out the other half of the token and formed the whole token on the spot. So it turns out, the demonic goo master back then had his descendants too. Before he was arrested by Tai clan, he instructed his descendants to remember this incident and, if possible in the future, repay that kindness. The three brothers were descendants of this demonic goo master. After seeing this token, they immediately explained the matter to this young stall owner, asking him if he needed any help. They would do their best to assist him. This young man was very crafty. He immediately replied, he lacked three subordinates, and there was nobody around to help him. The three brothers glanced at each other, before kneeling down together, promising that they would serve the young man for twenty years. They would listen to all of his orders for twenty years, but after that, they would be free. These three brothers were famous in the battle stage, they each had rank three cultivation and were most skilled in multi-battles. The young man relied on the strength of the three brothers, living the next twenty years in luxury. During the period, he asked the three brothers to get food, water, primeval stones for him, and they acceded to all of his requests. But after twenty years, the three brothers repaid the favor and left. He had long forgotten how to work and was too ashamed to beg. In fact, he did not even restrain himself, continuing to live like a king. Less than half a month later, he died. Of course, all these happened in Fang Yuan's previous life. At the moment, the three demonic goo masters have not found the half token yet, and this token was already in Fang Yuan's hands. As for that young man, who cares if he dies? According to his memories, this half token would only be discovered by the three demonic goo master brothers next year. But now that Fang Yuan held the half token, he brought Bai Ming Bing and Shang Xin Sai to find them directly. The three brothers also opened a stall before their home, enjoying the festive mood, and were having fun. Ah, it is Lord Fang Zheng and Lord Bai Ning Bing. Seeing Fang and Bai, the three quickly got up. They had all been thrashed by Fang Yuan or Bai Ning Bing before in the battle stage. In this world, strength was everything, even more so for demonic Gu masters. Bai Ning Bing had rank 4 cultivation. While Fang Yuan defeated Zhu Kaibei, there was no demonic Gu master who did not respect the two. I am here today to find the three of you. Fang Yuan observed the three brothers emotionlessly. These three brothers all had the surname Qing. The eldest was called Qing Tu, shortest among the three, humble and honest. He was an earth path rank three upper stage Gu master. Second was Qing Huo, Wearing a sleeveless shirt and shorts, his body was bright red. He was a fire path rank 3 middle stage goo master. The youngest was Cheng Feng, wearing a bamboo hat, having sharp tiny eyes, and enjoys squinting when he looks at people. He was a wind path rank 3 initial stage goo master. Hearing Fang Yuan's words, the three brothers became uneasy. Cheng Tu quickly cupped his fist, greeting Fang Yuan. Lord Fang Zheng, may I know what is the issue? If my brothers had offended you unknowingly, I apologize to you here. Fang Yuan frowned slightly. I'm sure you've heard, I had given up on the battle stage to assist Shang Xin Sai in becoming a young master. We are lacking manpower over here, I want all three of you to join us. This, the three Xian clan brothers frowned. They came to Shang Clan City and entered the battle stage for only one reason, to become Shang Clan's external elder. But now that Fang Yuan wanted them to assist Shang Xin Sai, it was very different from their goals. Shang Xin Sai was just an inexperienced girl and only had rank 1 cultivation with poor aptitude. The three of them all had B-grade aptitude and their combination strike could temporarily match a rank 4 Gu Master asking them to go under Shang Xin Sai and be her subordinate. 
the three brothers were unwilling. If others said this, the three brothers would have attacked already, beating the guy to a pulp. But it was Fang Yuan who said it, causing the three to be in a difficult position. Fang Yuan had defeated Zhu Kai Bei in a battle, they had watched it personally, even if they joined forces, they could not defeat Fang Yuan. Fang Zheng is here with ill intention. He is obviously trying to forcefully subdue us. Thai, what bad luck to have been targeted by Fang Zheng. All three of us cannot defeat him, and he even has Bai Ning Bing beside him. Moreover, the purple thorn token. The three brothers looked at each other, knowing each other's emotions. The three of them were unwilling, but circumstances forced their hand, they could only choose to give in. But Fang Yuan suddenly said, I do not wish to force you, come if you are willing to, if not, I will not force you. The three brothers glanced at each other, unsure if Fang Yuan was speaking the truth or just trying to act graceful. But Cheng Feng, who was the youngest, was the most daring, as he said carefully. Lord Fang Zheng, to speak the truth, we are used to freedom. We do not want to be involved in Shang Clan's young master competition. Thus, thus. The other two smiled meekly as they bowed towards Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing apologetically. Oh, Fang Yuan's brows raised as a cold light shot out of his eyes. The three of you are really daring. You dare to reject my invitation. The three brothers heart thumped. Xing Tu quickly cupped his fists, explaining in a hurry. That is not the case, that is not the case. Lord Fang Zheng, please do not misunderstand. It is our honor to have received your invitation. My brother was too nervous. He did not know what he was saying. Actually, what he wanted to say was, we would be glad to go under Lady Shang Xinsai's wing. Yes, yes, that was what I meant, Cheng Feng continued. He he, in that case I am assured. The three of you are so eager as Xin Sai, accept them. Fang Yuan turned around, saying to Shang Xin Sai. Beside him, Bai Ning Bing frowned. Forcing them to join like this, he would not get their loyalty, such a distant subordinate, what use would it be? Shang Xin Sai had the same worry, but she still chose to believe Fang Yuan. She took a step forward, saying to the three brothers, From now on, please work hard. Yes. The three brothers of Chen clan pays respect to Lady Xin Sai. The three cupped their fists and bowed, replying listlessly. Ha ha ha, Fang Yuan raised his head and laughed. The three brothers thought, This Fang Zheng is too despicable, leading the life of a whore, but still expecting a monument praising chastity one speaking in a righteous manner but acting like a despicable crook. That's right, I forgot something, take a good look. Fang Yuan stopped laughing and took out a half token, tossing it to Xin Tu. Xin Tu caught it subconsciously. What is this? The other two brothers glanced curiously. But immediately, the three brothers were stunned. This, this is? The calm and stable Xin Tu cried out. Xin Huo grabbed the token, inspecting it closely. Cheng Feng also understood what happened, as he urged his brother Cheng Tu. Brother, quickly take out our token. Under Bai Ning Bing and Shang Xin Sai's weird gaze, Cheng Tu took out the other half of the token. The two half tokens perfectly fit into one, and a illusionary fire started to burn on the token. This, this is real, Cheng Clan's three brothers stared with wide-opened eyes. Cheng Tu held the token with shivering arms. What is going on? Bai Ning Bing and Shang Xin Sai had no clue what was happening. The three brothers of Chen Clan, did you really think I came here without a reason? Why are you hesitating? Fang Yuan spoke at an appropriate moment. His words woke them up. Grandfather once said, no matter who the token's owner was, even if it was an enemy, we have to repay the kindness from back then. That's right, although Grandfather is trapped, we cannot ruin his reputation. From now on, Lady Shang Xinsai is our new master. But only for twenty years. Twenty years is sufficient to repay the debt. The three brothers discussed among themselves quickly. Next, all three of them kneeled on one knee in front of Shang Xinsai, cupping their fists. Xing Tu, Xing Huo, Xing Feng, the three brothers greets Lady Xinsai. 
they shouted loudly, with a different tone from before, filled with drive and excitement. Brother Hai Tu, what is happening? Shang Xin Sai found out that they were sincerely joining her and felt extremely curious. Fang Yuan snickered. It is a long story. We will talk about it next time now, let's go recruit some more members. The gang of six arrived at the slave market. In the world, there was slave trade. Any strong or affluent first-class clan or super-clan would engage in slave business. Shang Clan's slave trade was handled by the head of the five clan elders, Shang Bu Lai personally. Slave trade was too profitable, the higher-ups were not confident of letting an external elder handle it. In history, only Shang clansmen were in charge of it. Fang Yuan had planned early on and investigated clearly. He walked ahead, leading the way, quickly arriving at a cage. Within the cage, there were many people. Ladies in Sai, Lord Fang Jing, Lord Bai Ningbing, are you here to purchase slaves? If that is the case, I do not advise you to buy the people inside this cage. A Gu master in charge of handling business quickly came over. Oh, what is that so? Shang Xin Sai asked. Lady Xin Sai does not know, these people are from Y Clan. Y Clan had a political uprising some time ago, and Y Clan leader was overthrown by his younger brother. The people inside this cage are from the previous clan leader's faction. They are being sold now by the current Y Clan leader. The Gu Master answered. Xin Sai immediately understood why he advised them not to buy these slaves. Y Clan was a first class clan. Although it was smaller than Shang Clan, it was still a famous clan in the southern border. Y Clan's political turbulence was said to be supported by Shang Yanfei. The current Y Clan leader even sent the clansmen to Shang Clan as hostage. Many Y Clan elders also secretly transferred their assets to Shang Clan. Y Clan could be said to be Shang Clan's puppet already. For Shang Xin Sai, who was competing to become Shang Clan Young Master, these people were trouble. But Fang Yuan quickly said, We are buying these people. Chapter 330 Why does in this, Lord Fang Zheng, are you certain on buying them? The Gu Master in charge hesitated. Why, are you doubting my decision? Fang Yuan gave him a plain glance. This Gu Master laughed, he was a Shang clansman, he was not afraid of Fang Yuan like the Shang clan brothers. I wouldn't dare, I wouldn't dare. He cupped his fists, turning to Shang Xin Sai. If I am not wrong, Lord Fang is buying these slaves to act as subordinates for Lady Xin Sai. But they are really bad news for those competing for the young master position. Lady Xin Sai, you are so intelligent, what do you think? Shang Xin Sai's eyes were focused on Fang Yuan, she smiled and replied, Brother Hai Tu's decision is my decision. Just do as he says. Is that so? The Gu master in charge was stunned before smiling. Since Lady Xin Sai says so, I will do so accordingly. To speak the truth, I am your supporter Lady Xin Sai. You are speaking too much. Fang Yuan gave the Gu Master a cold stare, interrupting him coldly. He he. The Gu Master laughed. Then I shall settle the procedures for you, but there are too many people. There will be a lot of procedures to go through. You need to wait a day. A day later. Bam. Fang Yuan raised his leg and kicked. That Gu Master did not expect Fang Yuan to strike and was caught off guard and hit on the stomach. Flying over thirty steps away, he knocked onto a bystander and landed on the ground, falling unconscious after vomiting blood. Who dares to fight in Shang Clan City? Are you tired of living? Quickly surrender yourself. Such commotion immediately attracted attention. The slave market was heavily guarded in the first place. Quickly, three groups of Gu masters came and surrounded them. It was me. Fang Yuan had no fear standing up. It's Fang Zheng. The riled up group saw Fang Yuan and immediately lost their vigor. Fang Yuan had rank 4 battle strength, they were only rank 2 and their leader who had the highest cultivation was rank 3 initial stage. They could not even be side dishes for Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan stood on the spot and took out his purple thorn token. 
the Shang clan Gu masters saw the token and their aura diminished once more. The leader's fierce and terrifying face quickly changed as he smiled and politely said to Fang Yuan, Lord Fang Zheng, we all know you are Shang Clan's esteemed guest. But even a guest cannot resort to force in Shang Clan, you even injured our clansmen, according to the rules. According to the rules, I will be fined 49 primeval stones. Fang Yuan immediately said. The leader was shocked not expecting Fang Yuan to be so well-versed with Shang Clan's rules. Fang Yuan tossed out a bag of primeval stones, waving his hand. There are fifty primeval stones inside, keep the change. The leader received the primeval stones, feeling like a beggar. He had a shocked and dazed expression as he left with the others. If Fang Yuan did not have strength, even with the purple thorn token, he would not have gotten out of it so easily. But now that he was strong, even in Shang Clan City, if he beat up a Shang Clansman, as long as it was not someone important, there would be no consequences. The Gu Master in charge was beaten unconscious by Fang Yuan. The slave market quickly sent out another Gu Master to attend to them. We are buying everyone in this cage. Fang Yuan pointed at the cage and said. Inside the cage, the people looked at Fang Yuan. Most of them had a dazed or numb expression, but a few stared at him in rage. Fang Yuan's casual attitude of purchasing made them feel extremely humiliated. Yes, yes, yes. The new Gu master wiped his sweat as he attended to Fang Yuan politely. In less than 15 minutes, all the procedures were done. This is the rank 3 poison scorpion Gu, please keep it well Lord Fang Zheng. Lastly, the Gu Master handed Fang Yuan a Gu Worm. This poison scorpion Gu had a white body, like a flawless porcelain, and was the size of two fingers. This was a rank 3 Gu, with only one ability, defecating. The scorpion feces it produced was black as bean, it was a rank 2 Gu. The saying goes, scorpion feces are one in the world. This scorpion feces Gu, each one had a unique poison. Once used on someone, they needed the corresponding poison scorpion goo to detoxify them once every seven days. This was the most common method to control slaves. Although there is also the slavery goo, with better effect, but it was rank 5. It was expensive and rare, it could not be commonly used. Poison scorpion goo. Although Shang Xin Sai could not activate it and could not make it defecate, she could make it sting someone without using any primeval essence. Fang Yuan planned to first refine this poison scorpion goo before passing it to Shang Xin Sai and letting her refine it. It was too difficult to let her do it herself. What did you say? Someone bought those Y clan slaves? What did I instruct you? I told you to pay attention to them. Wait a few days for me to settle it out with Shang Qiu Niu, and buy them after the situation calms down. In the study room, Shang Pu Lao had an ugly expression as he scolded the Gu Master in charge. The Gu Master in charge was lying on a bed with a pale expression. After being kicked by Fang Yuan, he had just woken up when Shang Pu Lao came to question him. Young Master Pu Lao, I tried my best already. I wanted to sow discord among them, but that Shang Xin Sai listened to Fang Zheng like a lamb. I tried stalling but before I finished my words, Fang Yuan sent me flying and knocked me unconscious. The Gu Master in charge listlessly explained as he laid in bed. Sai, these Y clansmen were once authoritative figures controlling Y clan's operation. They have high cultivation and experience in management. If I can get them, I can create half a Y clan myself. Among them, Y Clan's first lady Y Dezin is most skilled at nurturing guards. Y Clan leaders' guard troops had once been famous, successfully blocking many assassination attempts, even blocking the attack of five rank three Gu Masters at once. If not for that internal crisis, how could they fall apart so easily? Shang Pu Lao heaved a long sigh. I am asking you now, can the situation be salvaged? He stared sharply at the Gu Master in charge. The Gu Master shook his head, explaining in a crying tone, They were all brought away already, the entire procedure was proper, and there were no problems at all. Young Master, I have failed you. 
Never mind, have a good rest. Shang Pu Lao heard this and lost his interest altogether, giving a word of consolation before taking his head. Morning of the next day. In Nan Q Gardens residential square, over 30 members of Y clan stood. Fang Yuan and Shang Xin Sai came together. Earlier, Fang Yuan had helped Shang Xin Sai to refine the poison scorpion goo. A rank 3 goo was still too strong for her, thus, Fang Yuan chose some other goo worms to assist her in controlling the poison scorpion goo. From today onwards, Shang Xin Sai is your new master, why are you not greeting her? Fang Yuan handed the poison scorpion goo to her in front of them. Y clansmen slowly kneeled on the floor, paying respects to Shang Xin Sai. Their voices were listless, filled with helplessness and numbness, they were all behaving like puppets. They were banished from the clan. All these authoritative figures who lived a good life had become slaves. Their dejected and low-spirited behavior was completely natural. Looking at these people, how could anyone feel assured using them? Shang Xin Sai felt pity for them, but also worry for herself. Why does Xin come out? I want to have a private talk with you. Fang Yuan stretched out his arm, pointing at one of the women. They suddenly became energetic as many of their dazes' expressions became fierce and strong. What do you want? Many people moved their bodies, shielding Y De Zin. I am warning you, do not lay a finger on her. One of them pointed his finger at Fang Yuan, showing great alertness. Smack! Fang Yuan's expression turned dark as he took a few steps forward and gave a slap. The person who pointed at him was sent flying by an overwhelming force. His mouth was full of blood as his broken teeth fell on the ground. It seems you are not clear of reality yet. Although I spent a lot of money to buy all of you, I am not against killing some of you for fun. So what if I want to do anything to your clan leader's wife, what can you do to stop me? Fang Yuan had a cruel expression and his voice was like cold as ice. You, Y Clan's gang were outraged, some youngsters clenched their fists, but they did not dare to speak out again. All of you stand down. Y De Zin made them stand aside as she walked out. Although her face was filthy, it could not hide her beautiful peach-like appearance. She bowed to Fang Yuan. What does Lord Fang Zhang need from this lowly servant? Fang Yuan snorted coldly, using a fierce gaze to inspect her body. Lady Y, you speak too much, just follow me and obey what I say. Saying so, he turned around. As meat on the chopping block, Y De Zin was helpless too, she gritted her teeth and followed Fang Yuan to the lake pavilion. A cool breeze blew, causing ripples on the surface of the lake. Carp swam in the lake and lotus leaves filled the surface of the water with red and white flower buds within the leaves. Such beautiful scenery caused Y De Zin to relax slightly. But Fang Yuan's next sentence made her nervous. He said, Lady Y, I am very interested in you. Y De Zin quickly kneeled on the ground. This servant is lowly, it is my great honor that my appearance had attracted Lord Fang Zheng's attention. But I do not dare to offer my soiled body to Lord's grand and masculine body. Ha ha ha. Fang Yuan laughed heartily. Why De Zin, don't be mistaken. I am very interested in your talent, your body and appearance is just a pair of skeleton in my eyes. Next, I want you to nurture a group of loyal female guards for Shang Xin Sai. At the same time, you have to motivate your Y clansmen properly, tell them to work hard and have a positive attitude. Hearing Fang Yuan say so, Y De Zin breathed a sigh of relief as she promised. Yes, this servant will follow Lord's orders. Ha <laughs> ha. Fang Yuan laughed deeply again, saying with deep meaning, Lady Y, I know you are pregnant, and I know your intentions. You want to preserve your husband's only bloodline, and at the same time contact your younger brother Y Shen Jing to exact revenge for you, am I right? As he said so, Y De Zin's face went pale as her delicate body shuddered.